Hello friends, this video on linear programming part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Let's take some more example here. So here we have to maximize, sorry, minimize this guy. Minimize this guy such that these are the constraints. So let's draw this x plus 3y is equal to 3. That is x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, and y is equal to 0, x is equal to 3. So let's plot this point 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, this point. x is equal to 3, y is equal to 0, this point. So I can draw one line using this box. So this is nothing but my x plus 3y is equal to 0. Let's find which area it will form. Let's put 0 comma 0 here. So if you put 0 comma 0, this becomes 0 plus 0 is greater than 3. No, that means this area is not part of this line. So I'm looking for this area. Correct. This is done. Second is x plus y is equal to 2. So x plus y is equal to 2. You put x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2. x is equal to y is equal to 0, you put you get x is equal to 2. So 0, 2 is one point, and this guy is another point. So let me draw a line on this. This is my line. Sorry. This is x plus y is equal to 2. Now let's put 0, 0 here. If you put 0, 0 here, you get 0 plus 0. That is not greater than 2. That means 0, 0 is not part of this. Here also I am looking for this reason. This is done. x and y both are greater than 0. That is this guy and this guy. So if you now find the common area, the common area you will get is this area. Because my x is greater than 0 and y is greater than 0, this is my common area. Please note, why? Because this, this guy satisfies this area, this guy satisfies this area, x is greater than 0 satisfies this area, y is greater than 0 satisfies this area. So this is my area I am looking for. If you see this is unbounded, unbounded. So in this case solution may exist or may not exist, right? But what are the points? The points here are this guy is one point, this guy is one point and this guy is one point, right? So my point is Zero comma two is one point, right? This is three comma zero is another point, and one more point I have this point. It is intersection of these two lines. So let's find the intersection of these two lines. So I can do that. X plus three y is equal to three, and x plus y is equal to two. Subtract this, you get y is two y is one or you get y as 1 by 2. If y is 1 by 2, my x will be 2 minus y, that is 2 minus 1 by 2, that is 3 by 2. That means my another point is 3 by 2 and 1 by 2, right? So this point is 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2, this point. So I have all these points, that is this point is 0, 2, this point, this point is 3, 0 and this point. So let's find the corner point and the value of z. So this is 0, 2, 3, 0, 3 by 2, 1 by 2, all these points. So in case 0, 2, my z is nothing but 3x plus 5y, right? 
So this becomes 3 into 0 plus 5 into 2, 10. For 3 comma 0, this becomes 3 into 3, 9 plus 5 into 0, that is 9. For this 3 by 2 and 1 by 2, this becomes 3 into 3 by 2, that is 9 by 2 plus 5 into 1 by 2, that is 9 plus 5 by 2, 14 by 2, that is 7. I am looking for minimum, so my value of m is 7. This may be maxima, this may be minima or may not be. Now we have to find. To find that, I have told that I have to form this equation 3x plus 5y is less than m. m is 7 here. I have to find this equation first. And then I have to see whether this equation has any conflicting region with this. So for this 3x plus 5y is less than 7, let's find the equation. So here you put x is equal to 0, you get y as 7 by 5, that is 1.4. You put y as 0, you get x as 7 by 3, right, that is nothing but 2. 0.3 I think, yeah, 2.33. So let's plot this value, x is 1.4 is somewhere here, so x is 0, sorry, x is 0, y is 1.4 is somewhere here and y is 0 and x is 2.3 is somewhere here, right. So if you draw this line, and you want to find which regions belong, less than 7, so let's take 0 and 0, 0 plus 0 is than 7, yes, so I am looking for this reason. And if you see that this particular region is not conflicting with this region, there is no interference, no interference or you can say that no common point. Since there is no interference, I can say that my 7 is minimum. Correct. You see what how I done? I wanted to find if 7 is minimum or not. I drew this line and I saw that there is no common interference between this region, my the new region and the old region and then I can see that 7 is the In the same example, maxima would not have worked because maxima would have been 10. Then we would have, we would have formed the equation 3x plus 5y is greater than 10. And this line, if you see, if you actually plot this line, this will be in this region, this direction. And if you see that, there will be a overlapping between this reasons, which you get from this line and this line. So that you can see that the minima for this function is there available, but the maxima for this function is not available. And this is something which you can tell by looking at the graph only, because if you see the graph is something like this, it is going in this direction, right? So. It, it can have any value of x and y and for any positive value of x and y this will always grow, z will always grow, you see, z will keep growing, correct? So you can see that just by looking at the graph you can see that the maxima is not available for this because it keeps growing but the minima may exist and we tried and we saw that the minima actually existed for this condition. Let's take one more example, we have x plus 2y we have to find, this is my objective function and the conditions are 2x plus y is greater than 3, x plus 2y is greater than 6 and x is and y is greater than 0. So let's form the equation of this guy, this guy, 2x plus y is greater than 3, so for this 2x plus y is equal to 3, you put x is equal to 0, you get y is equal to 3, you get uh, y is equal to 0, you get x as 1.5. So let's plot this point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so x is 0, y is 3, y is 0, x is 1.5, this point. So we'll plot this like this. This is my graph for 
टू एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू राइट नाउ टू फाइंड विच एरिया इट इज पॉइंटिंग टू लेट्स पुट जीरो कॉम जीरो हेयर कम जीरो प्लस जीरो इज ग्रेटर दैन थ्री नो सो दैट मीन्स आई एम लुकिंग फॉर दिस रीजन करेक्ट सेकेंड इज एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू सिक्स यू पुट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो यू गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री यू पुट वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो यू गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज फोर फाइव सिक्स हमेर हेयर एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इज वन टू थ्री हेयर सो वी हैव समथिंग ऑफ दिस पैट राइट दिस गाय इज x plus two y is equal to six. Which reason? This reason. This reason. Let's put zero zero. Put zero zero. This becomes zero is greater than six. No, that means I'm looking for this reason only. Right. So if you find the common between this this reason this reason, also x is greater than zero. That is this reasons. Y is greater than zero. This reason. Then you'll see that the reason I'm looking for is this guys. These guys I'm looking for. All these values here are something I'm looking for, and if you extend this further, I'm looking for only for these values, right? So the the corner points here are this point, this guy, this guy, correct? So the corner point, this guy is actually, if you see, this guy is six comma zero, and this guy is zero comma three. So my corner point is. Zero comma three and six comma zero. Let's find the value of z in this x plus two y. So this becomes six zero plus two into three, and this becomes six. And the minimum value is if you see is six only. So we can take any of this. Now I have to maximize this. Sorry, minimize this. Right, so I have to. This is m. It may be minima, not may not be minima. So I have to first formulate this equation: x plus two y is less than m, and then check whether this is overlapping. And m is here six. This is overlapping. So x plus two y is less than six is nothing but that we can take the same equation: x plus two y is greater than six. Less than six is this part, and if you see, there is no overlap between this area and that area. since there is no overlap i can say that yes minima exist and the minima value is 6 and if you see that this exists in all the point in this line please note that minima occurs at all points on line x plus py is equal to 6 Correct. You see that the minima existed at all this point. If you take any line in this, uh, any point in this line, the value is six itself. So this is one example where the minima is not only on the end points; it exists in the end points also. But at these points also, the value is same actually. Yeah. We'll take one example here to maximize and minimize both this function subject to these conditions. Let's see this. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.